the empowered approach to astrology sees you as a conscious co-creator of your own experience of consciousness, shedding the light on the potentials that are available to you in each unique moment. Why not experience this approach in action through either the Empower Hour or the Empower Hour Plus consultation, both of which can be scheduled at the link above. So sometimes we come up with a plan, right? That like wellspring of inspiration arises within us, a spark is kindled, a passion is lit, the torch shines the potential on a new way forward. But then those shadows of doubt come creeping in. What if it doesn't work out? What if that passion that I'm feeling in my heart is really just some foolish notion built upon a fantasy that I'd really like, like to see realized, but oh, I know in a million years that I'll just never be able to actually actualize that potential. So maybe I'll just turn around and go back to the old way of doing what, you know, seems like the path of least resistance. But you know what? A life that is filled with great abundance and great meaning and great passion is very seldom met, like in a manner that doesn't encounter some opposition in one way, shape, or form or another. And you have to decide that if at that first sight of A, someone opposing your plan, are you going to dampen down that torch and hide in the shadows? Uh, B, at the first sign of opposition in any other way, are you going to turn back and then go back to something which really had very little meaning and is only going to descend into further chaos if you cling on to it? Nah, that would just be really stupid. You know, maybe it's better to face the chaos you don't know than the chaos you do know. Yes, that's right. I said maybe it's better to face that chaos that you don't know than it is to face the chaos that you do know. We know the old way wasn't working for you. The new way could stand a lot of potential. And that new way is being like connected to a cause that you really want to put your energy behind. It's something that's important to you, or it surrounds someone who is important to you. And you know that if you're successful, that it will be worth your while. But you also fear that if you're not successful, then it's going to create a lot of problems. Sometimes we're in a position where we think we have a lot to lose if we go all in on something. When in actuality, we stand more to lose if we don't go all in on a plan. You now have a choice at this present moment in time to put your energy behind something that's ultimately going to be much more meaningful and stand a greater chance of creating a better life for you and equally someone that you care about very dearly. It's just that developmental phase that you feel slightly uncomfortable about. This particular new moon cycle takes place in the nakshatra of Uttara Bhadrapada. Uh, some of you who are just learning Vedic astrology, you may know it better as the lunar mansions. Uh, lunar mansions, nakshatras are really one and the same thing. Nakshatra, loosely translated, means star. So it's a particular section of the sky connected to a particular fixed star right? And these sections of the sky are divided up into 27 equal portions of 13 degrees and 20 minutes each, and they further condition the energy of a planet to behave in a certain way. 
Now, Uttara Bhadrapada Nakshatra is connected to Ahir Budnyas, who is the same as Adishesha. So let's explain what Adishesha is. So if we understand that um, there is an aspect of the infinite known as Vishnu, and Vishnu represents the uh, aspect of God that permeates all things, right? Vishnu is often pictured with a serpent protecting him. And so Adi Shesha, also known as Ahir Budnyas, both given one and the same name, are the serpent that protects Vishnu. Now, why is this important? It's the protection that is necessary as we shift from one cycle of creation to another. And Uttara Bhadrapada, on one level, represents that. It is related to the protection that's necessary as you're trying to develop something. It also reveals flaws along the path. And it's when those flaws are brought to the surface that sometimes we begin to doubt ourselves and we you know, perhaps go through those vulnerabilities. Um, occasionally, you know, a dark night of the soul is attached to those particular moments. But when we go through those periods and trust in the strength of our heart or trust what we know within to be, you know, ultimately correct by the nature of the individual that we are, right? If we know that what we're doing is aligned with who we are as a person, rather than second guessing how it's going to turn out, right? If instead we just go, I trust that this is right. My passion is naturally arising in association with it. If we're able to trust in that, then more strength is given to that which is developing. More protection is there and available to help it through the process. And so at the present moment, you have a lot of, as it were, divine protection to help you with your plan. But you may have, along the way, a couple of flaws in your ideas brought to the surface for you to re-examine. Don't see those as an opposition. See those as something to help to strengthen your resolve and equally as something that helps you to understand things that may be needing uh, correction along the way as you traverse the path ahead. And if you could use a little bit of help with that particular process, again, my Empower Hour consultations are a wonderful way to go. You can schedule those at the link you'll see above. That's going to do it for this look at the new moon in Uttara Bhadrapada Nakshatra, which takes place on the 21st of March, 2023. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now. Music